Hi, this instructional video is about solving equations, solving multi-step equations. Now, this variation is about solving equations that have negative coefficients. Negative coefficients. I'll demonstrate number one. Check this out. It looks like a two-step equation. You know, you, get out. <laughs> and you, get off my back. As you know, get out means to add or subtract. And get off my back refers to either multiply or divide. Well, let's do this one. First, do the opposite of minus 7, which is plus 7, to both sides of the equation. So that's addition property of equality. So minus 7 plus 7, they're additive inverse, so they become 0. They cancel out. So all you have is negative 12x on the left. And here, well, if you owe the bank $31 and you put in only $7, you still owe the bank some money, not as much as before, but you're going to still owe the bank $24. You have a negative balance. Now, you get off my back, which refers to multiply or divide. In this case, I would divide that negative 12. See, whatever you see is what you're going to divide. If this was just 12, I'll divide the 12. But since I see a negative 12, I'm going to divide the entire coefficient negative 12 to both sides. So on the left, negative 12 and negative 12, they divide to become a 1 or 1x one or simply x. And on the right side, negative 24 divided by negative 12, you know that when you multiply two negatives or divide two negatives, they become positive. So 24 divided by 12 is 2. And here I used division property of equality. Now it says to check. And to check it, we're going to take that x is equal to 2 and substitute it back into the original equation where the x is. So we go negative 12 times the x, which we found it to be 2, minus a 7. Does that equal negative 31? Let's see. Negative times a positive is a negative 24 minus a 7. Now, this is like saying, you take out $24 from the bank, you take out 7 more, together you took out a total of negative 31. And since the left side equals the right side, that's a good answer. Now, why don't you try numbers 2 and 3. Go ahead. Now, I hope you didn't get confused because there was an x on the right side of this expression here. What you had to do is move the 3. And what's the opposite of 3? Minus 3. And you have to do it to both sides of the equation. So as a result, 3 and negative 3, their additive inverse, they become 0. They cancel. And what did I do? Subtraction, property of equality. So all that remains on the left side is negative x. Is equal to, well take out four bucks and take out three, you owe the bank seven. No, you're not done. <laughs> no, no, no. You still have a negative sign right there. And to get rid of that, you could either multiply because that's an invisible one, negative one. So you could divide negative one to both sides or multiply the reciprocal, which is still negative one to both sides. I would rather divide a negative one. So this is division property of equality. So negative 1, invisible. You know what? In fact, let me write that there. D, 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 D. There's an invisible 1. So negative 1 and negative 1, they simplify to become a positive 1, x. And negative 7 divided by negative 1 is positive 7. Did you check it? Oh, here I do it. What? Here I go. 3 minus, look at the way I do this, the x is 7 is equal to negative 4. See that? But again... Three dollars in a bank, take out seven, you're gonna owe the bank money, you're gonna owe the bank four bucks, negative four, and since the left and the right equals, ta-da, that's a good answer. And finally, number three, this is a little peculiar. You could want do it one way or another, you could at first either move the minus eight to both sides, and then go, oh, then I could combine the negative four uh, x and the negative six x, or I could just do it right now. Yeah, you could do that. Combine like terms on the left side. 4x, combine it with negative 6x. If I have four apples and I take away six apples, I took away too much. <laughs> Did that make sense? <laughs> so you owe the apple to somebody. How many do you owe? You owe two apples. 
negative 2x minus d8. <laughs> That's called a modern system, I guess. The olden days where we don't have money. <laughs> now to solve this, you do the opposite of minus 8. So you add 8 to both sides of the equation. Here, before I keep on going, let me go ahead and indicate what I did here. I combine like terms. Combine like terms. Okay? And here I'm going to do, I'm doing an addition property of equality. So on the left side, negative 8 and positive 8, they're opposite. They're additive inverse. So they become 0, leaving you with negative 2x is equal to 4 plus 8 is 12. And how do I move that negative 2 out of there? Divide that negative 2. You see? Here was negative 1. Divide negative 1. Negative 2. Divide negative 2. Okay? So negative 2 and negative 2 simplifies to become a positive 1x. And what am I doing? I'm doing a division property of equality. Here, 12 divided by 2 is a 6. But remember, positive and negative is a negative. There it is. To check it, I'll go 4 times negative 6 minus 8. Minus 6 times negative 6 is equal to 4. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24 minus 8. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. And I hope they all equal 4. I take away $24 from the bank. I take away 8 bucks. I took away a total of $32 from the bank. I owe the bank $32. But what am I doing next? I am adding or making a deposit of 36. So I don't owe the bank money anymore. I, in fact, have $4 balance in my bank account. So since the left and right equals, that is my good answer. That's how it's done. All right. Good luck.